Hey everybody, I'm the Frosty Four. Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. In the last episode, we faced off with Bloody Mary, and we turned into the wolf, and that was so fucking cool, and we shattered her into a million pieces. And here comes the civil part of all this, as civil as it can be, so let's jump back in. Hello there, Mr. Crooked Man. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. I'm quite Give tired. Me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six. I won't miss next time. I don't care. <laughs> Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true. But I'd advise against defying your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I do. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. Mm. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. He was already dead when he There's said that. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind, and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case Those is girls. Concerning? This is about protecting Fable Town. Some asshole murders two of our people. It's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. But he's you're behind everything dignity. else. Yes, he's dead. I didn't... My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? All right, you can have the gun. Keep it. Fine. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. Mm. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. It looks like I'm going easy on him. <clears throat> but just wait. And your punishment will follow. He gets his. Oh, he does. I know, I know. But we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... Here I am. He's back. <gasps> he's got that swag. Yeah. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. What? Don't I look okay? I guess you've been worse. Thanks. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. 
Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? Where the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out? Oh, there? I killed him. I sincerely hope not. I killed him. He's dead. He's what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no. That doesn't need change this. anything. We'll deal with it later. But right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Fine. Go right ahead. Wait, that's not how this works. <laughs> After the rest of your crimes are read through, then you will have an opportunity to defend yourself, but only then. If you insist. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're in- Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where realm. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but with it. But we promised then. you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. America. This is ridiculous. You'd have to take those off, though. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This, this is such bullshit! Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Yeah, really? okay. I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? No. Holly, please. Tell them, Big B. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered <laughs> your questions. I was willing to cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. 
My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own I saw own those shackles, though. As Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted... That any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. Provide for herself. And what did they do? They burned the tree. my tree to ashes. <laughs> what? You burned it down? You see? Snow wanted the tree destroyed, so I did it, all yes, right? Yes, because she was helping Crane and the Crooked Man. Would you rather have that continue? What choice did I have? It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. We didn't get you into this situation. He did. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. Right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over, and those girls will have their justice. Yeah? Yeah? Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. Yeah, I'm shitty, I know. About. And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Come on. Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need... course it's right. This man tormented all of you for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder. Since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. Now, don't make him a murderer. What happened with Tweedledum wasn't Snow's fault. If you all want to blame someone, blame me. She had nothing to do with it. Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Now, where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated the poor woodsman when he was in your custody? 
He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So what does that mean? You won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the mean, reason we're here. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to me. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny? Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Listen, bitch. Who will be the- Big B? Miss White? Eh? Excuse me, I, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of... In just so you know, thing. since the other girl's Ooh, dead, her ribbon doesn't work anymore. She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was... Afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <sighs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I'm. Nerissa! Know you. My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just. He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily. That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. Don't worry. He's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid- At least five other girls what? back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? But they're all dead. Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah. Oh, that's I will. Too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What? You take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Yes, you're now, done. for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. Magic sure fails. Maybe she has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't get so we get rid of him. To get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Magic fails. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? 
He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. Thank you. Makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. First they hate me. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Everyone, I'm not this way. Oh, I forgot about that. Nope. Nope, you're not taking me down with you. You're dead. There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You're going to miss me. Yeah, we will. No, I won't. <laughs> Fable Town will remember that. For Lily and Faith. Yes, another one of us to erase from the books. So, uh, coffee then? Bigby's like, oh my god, I haven't slept in like a week. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, Flycatcher. I missed you. you. come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. I really like him. I should have gotten to know him more. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Oh, thank you. Give. Thank you. Right. Thanks. I'm I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. Why don't you we'll at least talk later, okay? let everybody in so they can sit down? Jeez. What's up, Dick? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Of course he cuts to the front of the line. Same as always. Glad things changed around here. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Yeah, wink, wink. It's your butthole, Colin. Oh well, it's not like I expect him to wear pants. This part is so sad, though. Like this really shouldn't have to have happened. The Toad family is getting on the truck to go to the farm with Flycatcher. Oh, Colin! Jesus! There should seriously be a welfare system we in place for like this. Five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ugh. Shit. Just go grab that, would you? Poor TJ. Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. That's We're so about sad. ready to head out. 
What's it like at the farm? It sucks. I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. no. I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Collins says it sucks. We're all set. He said it was a prison. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Bye, Goodbye, TJ. You poor little shit. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Colin gets to stay. That's bullshit, Big B, and you know it. <laughs> it is. Fucking corrupt. Uh. So they can't be out of glamour, but it's okay for them to be out in the fucking Saying back goodbye. of a truck. Hey. What's up, Narissa? You look good when you're not in your, uh, uniform. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Narissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? You told Georgie. So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Give her a cigarette. She's had a rough, uh... Here. Rough life. Thank you. Narissa appreciates that. Here you go, honey. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, oh, pulled a ribbon. so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Thanks. I walked her over here. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just 
fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these Snow people. is tough. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. I just... I go out there and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. That's you true. You protected your friends, no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew... I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Listen to this. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. Holy shit, that was a short episode. Wait, what happened at the end? If you if you understand what happened at the end there with all the thoughts, please leave me a note in the comments because I didn't get it. Did Narissa kill all those people? Or something? Or was Narissa Faith or something? Fuck man, I don't know. But if you fucking get it, please leave a note in the comments. So that is the end of The Wolf Among Us. And I'm totally confused about, you know, this whole Crooked Man thing. And, like, when we were at the trial, I was actually starting to kind of doubt myself for a minute. Like, maybe he really is just helping these people. And then Narissa comes in and I'm like, no, he's enslaving us and it fucking sucks. And, you know, we die and stuff like this. But what happened at, at the end there with the, the thoughts? I'm not so sure, but this was a great game. It drew me in really quickly, and you guys loved it. I could, I mean, I'm just saying that because I could tell. You guys were like, play more, play more. And I really hope that I'm able to find another game that you guys love just as much as this one. But for now, let's put this uh, series on ice. So thank you so much for watching. Drop me a note in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this. If you thought it was awesome, please hit like and subscribe for more videos from me. And I will chill with you next time. But until then, stay frosty.